And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Benilde St. Margaret's High School. It's homecoming for the Red Knights as they'll be playing host to the Fridley Tigers. The Red Knights off to a terrific start at 3-0 to start this season. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us on Benilde St. Margaret's football and the Booster website along with Park TV 16. The Tigers and Red Knights, no strangers to each other last year. It was the Tigers with the big win over the Red Knights by a score of 51 to 21. After they picked up that victory last year, it ended up being a, a, a little bit of a swoon for them as they lost four straight, finished out their season with a win, and uh, that was uh, uh, qu quite a telltale tale there for them. The Red Knights, of course, will bring a solid offensive attack as they've been picking up yards by the chunks this year, and uh, they will continue to try that, uh, work that trend once again. So far, they have scored 40 points or more in every football game they've played this year, and uh, they will be receiving on the kickoff as it'll be the Tigers in their white and the Red Knights in their home red. Tigers will be moving from left to right across your screen. Meanwhile, the Red Knights, of course, from right to left. By the way, tonight, uh, the 56th year of Red Knight football as a school as well. They had members of their 1958 team uh, right here on the field. It was a, a great ceremony to start it. And also, it's Tackle Cancer Night. Uh, once again, an annual uh, function, a very good one for the Red Knights. As through Randy Shaver's foundation, they work to tackle cancer be sure to be a part of that. They are jacked up on the Fridley side. We're about to get things underway, and we are off. Kick will be fielded by Sam Lynch at about the six, cuts back to the right, has an opening back across the 25, tackled down around the 27-yard line. Stepping up to make that hit for the Tigers was Luke Prosser, and the Red Knights will take over first and 10 as it will once again be Keaton Studsford, the Aspire Athlete of the Week, first ever, as he was... Uh, Highlighted in quite a few uh, of the local media outlets. You know, obviously, it's on the field and off the field attributes that are looked at. There was a holding call against the Red Knights as we'll bring this one back. As they'll start on their own 17 now where it's going to be first and 10. Leaning over the ball at center for the Red Knights will be Jeremy Pastor. They go to the wristbands. They'll work the gun as usual. The spread option. Studsroot has pressure right away. We'll cut back up through the middle. Nice pickup there as he charges ahead for about a gain of four. As Red Knights will once again take over. They're not going to waste a lot of time. They go straight out of the no huddle. He looks over the sidelines. Studsroot does, gets his play. Official pickup of five yards on the play, so second and five. They're going to hand off to the right side, slicing over the right tackle. There was number 20, Peter Watkins. And in on the tackle for the Tigers was Matt Dean. No gain on that play, so it'll be third and five official once again. Red Knights with that opening five yard run from Studsroot. Very solid defensive front here for the Tigers. They get off the ball in a hurry, and that's going to be a problem. Rolling to the left, pass to the near side. Oh, and it's caught by Hanks. He really toes the tightrope there across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. That ball was uh, perilously close to being picked up. You'll get a look here. It's a little roll to the left, throwing against his body. It's a tough throw to make off that one foot just off the outstretched hand. And that one is a first down for the Red Knights. Studsrud connects with Hanks. One hopper off the ground, fortunately for the Red Knights. He's a ball player, oh, he's in the free, across the 45 to the 40. Studsrud rolling to the 25, 10. Oh, they're gonna say he stepped out at about the 33 yard line. He was off the races there. A muff snap, and once again, maybe we can get a look at that one on replay, but still the play developed, and you'll see Studsrud peel it off the turf right there on your replay, sneaks through, and it'll be right about there it was the right foot that stepped out of bounds and he was off to the races. 10.42 to go here in the first quarter. Timeout on the field right now as the Red Knights talk things over. There's a good look at the Fridley Tigers. Two and one in the season. They're one and one in the conference so far. They opened their season with a 19-7 win over Zimmerman. Then they crushed St. Louis Park 40-7. 
And then it was a win over Spring Lake, or loss to Spring Lake Park, rather very solid football team by a score of 21-7 last week. So week four for these two teams. Red Knights looking to keep that record unblemished at this point of the season. They've had themselves a fantastic start as they've been spreading the offensive well quite impressively. Kind of a Baltimore Ravens-like looking on your screen are those uniforms for the Tigers looking sharp. Studs root again as Lynch off to his right. Couple of receivers up top of your screen. High snap played off to Lynch. He's going to cut back down to the 30. Finds a little bit extra yardage there to about the 29 yard line as there's some solid lead blocking put in there by the Fridley Tigers. Here's a good look at this one. Pulls the high snap right into the bread basket there. Cuts back and some inside running there for Lynch, who once again will be. Or checked it, that's Watkins rather. He's going to keep it this time. Darts to the right side to Studs Root across the 25. They'll mark it right about at the 25 as that'll set up third down for the Red Knights. Homecoming. This uh, fall season is moving quickly, like it always seems to. Studs Root again. Going to check off and look. Change things up as the Red Knights once again with 9.45 on the clock and counting here on their opening drive. It'll be Studs Root with a roll to the right, looks, hangs and looks, throws toward the end zone, caught! That was Hanks and another number 17 was there to bump him and Odell Howard, one of their leaders on the defensive side of the ball for the Fridley Tigers. But first down now for the Red Knights. Big third down, a couple of big conversions for the Red Knights here in the first series as they set up a first and goal now from the eight yard line in Fridley territory. Inside handoff walking, cuts back, he'll dart in and he'll be tackled about the half yard line as hopefully we can get a look at this on replay. You'll see he cut back from his left to his right. And he went down and nearly skidded his way right there across the goal line, just a little bit shy. So to be inside the one yard lane, Red Knights with a nice start here, looking to punch it into the end zone in the early going. It's a rainy, chilly night here in the Twin Cities if you're uh, out of town, there's a keeper up the middle, still waiting for a signal. Looks like they stopped him, indeed they did. No gain for the Red Knights, that'll bring up a third down. This will be their third, third down of this series. It started inside their own 20, the Red Knights picking it up on the ground and in the air. Power package in. I formation behind Studs Root. And he's going to keep it himself, take it down, and angle his way in for a touchdown as the Red Knights take the early 6 0 lead with a terrific start. And it was Keaton Studs Root on the keeper as it's 6 0. She studs through the second effort there. It'll be Arneson on now to work the extra point, the old swinging gate. The Red Knights aren't afraid to mix it up here with this extra point. Snap is down and chipped through. And it's now 7 0 in favor of the Red Knights. The Red Knights with a very, very solid start. Keith Studs through keeps for the touchdown. And the extra point tacked on by Matt Arneson. And their team takes the 7 0 lead. You're watching high school football on the Red Knights website along with Park 16 Cable TV. We've got a little conglomeration going on here. It's been great to be a part of this. A couple of weeks in a row. Bringing high school football to your living room. Yeah, 
this is the red lights. Beat for the tie is number 17, Odell Howard. Eight thirteen to go here in the first quarter. Arnerson's going to squib this one on the kickoff. Red Knights of the opening series for the touchdown, and here come the Tigers back on the return across the thirty-yard line as they'll take off, uh, take over first and ten. As we get a look at that Ridley offense, they are not afraid to mix it up either. Pass and run, as it's pretty well balanced for this football team. So we'll get a good look at them. First and 10 for the Fridley Tigers from the 30-yard line. Tigers with a single back of the backfield. They're going to open up this series. There's a quick handoff left side. Nice gain up the middle. Oh, breaking one tackle. First down yardage and more. As the Tigers off to a nice start there on that carry was number 23, Darius Mulba, and uh, he is their leader. He has 259 yards on the season to go along with two touchdowns, as it's going to be first and 10 now from their own 41. Something giving me the feeling here this could be a very high-scoring affair. Motion to the far side. That's Matt Dean. Mulba again. They call his number, but he runs into the arms and is wrapped up by the Red Knights. Solid play there. That's Blaze Fitzgerald on the tackle. Here's a pitch off to the left side. Cool by again. They've been calling his number with frequency here. Three plays and three carries. That sets up now uh, what will be a third down as he picked up about six yards on that play. Third and four. And the big third down conversion, Mulba again. Oh, he's loose down to the 35. We'll call it the 33 yard line where he picks up huge yardage there where it's going to be first and 10. First and 10 for Fridley, 34 yard line. Back deep. from the gun again. Why not go to Mulba again? He'll go straight up the middle. He picks up about two yards. That'll be second down. Tate with the tackle for the Red Knights. Across the 15 and a touchdown. What a play there, Matt Dean once again. Oh, we'll take a look at this one on replay as that was an impressive piece of work there. As the Tigers respond, surgical in this opening series, very solid offensive output. And he was wide open, the lefty on the roll. And there he is at the 20 yard line and he's off to the races and gets it done for the touchdown. Nick Rafke muffed on the snap. He's going to lob this one up. Oh, my word. And the two point conversion. Something tells you this is going to be an interesting night as the Tigers make something of nothing and get more as they now have the 8 to 7 lead here in the first quarter with 6.05 showing on the clock.
So 6.05 to go here in the first quarter. The Tigers with the 8-7 lead. And that's, that's, that's the most efficient we've seen any football team move the ball against this Red Knight team. We, we watched the Robbinsdale Cooper Hawks struggle. They got theirs. Kick deep, it's going to be Lynch from his own three. He's going to swing to the left side. He better get moving as he was wrapped up neatly on the play. And there to make the tackle was Odell Howard. Great pursuit there as he took away the edge. And the Red Knights will take over first and 10 from their own 13-yard line. Penalty, second penalty for the Red Knights on their kick return unit, and they're going to be backed up once again. This time inside their own 10, they're going to start over, start out first and 10 from their own seven as the field is getting long. Studs Rude with it. He's going to call his own number, sidesteps one would be tackler, spins away as he picks up near first down yardage as he was hauled down on the play by Deshaun Green of the Fridley Tigers. He'll be awfully close to the first down. We'll see where they put this one down. Looks like that's going to be enough. By about a half a yard. Oh, no, they're going to say it's short. John Lager having a discussion with the side judge. Now the referee comes over. They're going to talk things over. They're looking for the face mask. First down, right and they are going to move it ahead for a first down. Looks like they made it by about a half yard. No flag on the play. And it'll be Studs Rude once again from the shotgun. Give inside. Nice run. He gets away from trouble. Oh, to, from the right to the left. Still going across the 50. Protecting the ball neatly and down on the play goes Peter Watkins, the five foot seven, 170 pound senior, pounded it out through the inside. Great interior running there. You'll see him really open it up here. Great wheels out across the 50. Muscled down at about the 39 yard line. Red Knights in two plays for the shadows of their end zone and have now found their way out across midfield in Tiger territory. What an entertaining start for these two clubs. Studsruth is going to keep and roll to his right. Puts on the brakes. He's going to loft that one up in the air to Sims, and he gets that one across the 25 to the 24-yard line for another Red Knight first down. Last week, Studsruth was 9 of 9 in his basic half worth of play against St. Louis Park. He was at the University of Minnesota on an official recruiting visit last week when Jerry Kill uh, suffered his seizure. You really watched that Gopher team get a little bit better as that occurred unfazed. Nice play up the middle. There's that spread option in full force for the Red Knights as they carve off about five yards on that first down play. Robertson make that six yards or seven. So call it official six, second and four. Robertson, a nice pick up there up the middle. And now they're going to give it back to Robertson. He tries to find some room off the right side, gets out across the 15. Close to first down yardage on second down for the Red Knights. But it'll be short. That was Nate Berry, rather, who carried that ball. The Red Knights with plenty of options to go to. 
in their offense. Studsruth is going to pull it back and loft it up in the air. Oh, and that one failed to click wide open on the play for the Red Knights off the right side was Austin Robertson. And he got spun around and couldn't quite pull that one out of the air. That'll bring up now fourth down. The Red Knights get to go for it. And here's the give off the right side. That's going to be a first down, keeping the feet moving. Down to about the six yard line for the Red Knights. Once again, that was Nate Berry. He's been highly featured in this set of downs. First to go for the Red Knights for the seven yard line. Four sixteen on the clock here in the first quarter. It's the Red Knights trailing by a score of eight to seven. It's Fridley Tigers. They marched on about a four or five play drive and were a hot knife through butter. They're opening drive and uh, Red Knights have really responded in the like. Mixing up the ground game and the passing game led by Keaton Studsrud. Studsrud once again will work with Nate Berry off to his left. They're going to bring motion to the near side. Down on the line now it's Callahan and Copper. Studs root up the middle, hot knife through butter. And the Red Knights reclaim the lead now at 13 to 8. That'll be Studs Root's second touchdown of the ball game. As that first step quickness is very good for that young man. Arneson now will try to tack it on. Place, kick, up and through and good for the Red Knights kicker. They now are leading by six at 14 to eight. Arneson with another kick that'll be handled at about the 15 yard line. It's Howard with it. He's going to try and swing to the left side, get some room. Real patient, waiting for things to develop, and he churns his way across the 35 to the 36. Beautiful return there. This will be first and 10 for the Tigers on the 37 yard line. They trail by six at 14 to eight. Gorgeous run there. Red Knights closed on the ball pretty well. Once they contain him off to the left side. At quarterback, it's Nick Rathke. He'll have one man in the backfield with him, and that's Mulbaugh again. Mulbaugh with the take tripped up. And he still bulldozes his way for about a yard or two, but there was great penetration in the backfield by the Red Knights.
Very physical play in there. You saw for Benel St. Margaret's, that was Carter Byrne. Mobile with a nice job to pick up three, just pretty much willing his way to those yards. Two receivers to the near side. Mulbaugh again takes the handoff from Rathke as he's tackled right at the line of scrimmage. They'll set up third down for the Red Knights. Defense as the Tigers will look to make things happen. Out of the gun. Look out, Howard wrapped up and spun down. Ball's loose. And the Red Knights look like they have themselves a fumble recovery. If they do, it's a first down at the 10 yard line. As they were all over that ball hawking it, we'll see. They'll say the Tigers got it. Ball be marked at about the 35 yard line. Michael Murray was Johnny on the spot for the Tigers to make that play. Here you see the loose ball. With all those red jerseys and pants around that football, there's no reason to think that that wouldn't be a red night ball. As Jay Weber was saying, yes, indeed, but no, it's not. So it's gonna be a punting situation, Red Knights. We'll have Hanks deep along with Sam Lynch. And the punt by the Tigers' big leg there of number 24, Matt Dean. Fair catch for Hanks. A fair catch. We'll see if they'll go for the three like the Lakeville South Cougars did last week to defeat the Egan Wildcats. That was a great, uh, a great piece of uh, radio we heard on our uh, this week in high school sports segment. As they obviously joined uh, Saturday Sports Talk, Larry Thompson did the coach of the Lakeville South Cougars. We'll, we'll get into that story in a bit. As a, a rule that the whole stadium had no idea what was happening. Nothing doing there. Beautiful containment by the Tigers. <laughs> Officials take a timeout. 2.12 showing on the clock right now. On that loss, it's going to be second and 15 for the Red Knights. Hanks from the shotgun. He's going to roll off to the right side, surveys the scene, pulls it down. Now he's going to keep it on the ground, gets to the line of scrimmage plus one or two. He's going to set up third and long. So the Red Knights defense with a nice hold on their last uh, set of downs and here come the Tigers creating all sorts of problems for the Red Knights now as adjustment time is in full force. Clock reads 1.53 here in the first quarter. Studsrud checks the band. Looks down the middle. He's got a full safety valve. Hit his own man right in the back. That was an offensive lineman. I believe that was Thomas Stone. And that sets up a fourth down. That's really the first misfire of the game from the passing situation for Studsrud here this evening. And off the field they come, and on goes the punting unit. Arneson handles those duties as well. Back deep to receive is Michael Murray. He's at about his 38-yard line right now. Kicking from his 15 will be Arneson. Perfect snap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nearly blocked. Fair catch called for. And it'll be the Tigers taking over. Great field position for them. We have a field position battle rolling right now as it'll be first and 10 from their own 43-yard line. There's a good look at your crowd here at Benilde St. Margaret's High School. Lovely St. Louis Park, Minnesota. You're watching football coverage presented by 
Park TV 16 and also the Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights Booster Club website. Rathke play action wide open over the middle. That one fails to click. Looking for the receiver down the middle. That was Murray. And Murray's uh, one of his favorite targets. He's uh, so far picked up seven passes, 45 yards, and a touchdown on the season. Incomplete it goes, second and 10. They pounded the ball uh, off on the ground with Mulba a few times. Out of the shoot this time, they come out throwing. Let's see what they have now. It'll be Mulba. Accelerates into a heap, and he's brought down for gain of about two or three. Initial contact for the Red Knights made there by number 59. And shocking, we don't have a 59 on the uh, roster sheets. I have to go to my trusty uh, program here that the Red Knights deliver. One of the better ones you're going to see. The game day program's quite impressive. Rathke on third down, steps up, throws a ball to the left side, up and brought down. Beautiful catch over on the far sideline. And that was Rathke's pass. Really cool and calm as he steps up and finds his man out over the middle. That's Matt Dean. He has nine receptions now for 118 coming into this game. He could make it 10 after that one. And that was a huge, cool, calm, and collected third down conversion for the Tigers. Clock rolls now at 53 to go here in the first quarter. What an entertaining first quarter it's been. Mulbaugh will be in the backfield, and they're going to give to him. No, that's a great play action. Fooled me here at the booth. Murray hauls it in down to the 5-1. Drags his man in. Touchdown. What a play, Murray. Even better by Rath. He really did a great job. Fooled me here in the booth. Finds Murray, stays focused on the football. That's a great play action fake right there. The lefty steps up and... Puts that one right on the numbers. Murray, right where he needed to get it, has to leave the ground to make the play. And he basically drags the Red Knights, Sam Merriman, into the end zone for the touchdown. And that makes the score now with the extra point. 15-14, Tigers. Wow, what a start we've had to this football game so far. Tigers and Red Knights locked in a battle here tonight. There's another look. Great play action. The big man steps up and... In stride, hauled in by Murray. And he did a great job protecting that football, too, because that was Merriman all over it as he was looking to uh, slap that one out of the midsection. There's a charged up Fridley Tigers team right there. Had a lot of swagger in the warmups. Notice that for sure. There's uh, not a lack of confidence in that football team. And with what they've done over their first three weeks, you can uh, rest assured that they have every reason to be there. This again is a sectional battle for the Red Knights. Robbinsville, Cooper, St. Louis Park, Fridley, among others. You know, the Red Knights have been uh, looking forward to that tilt against De La Salle. I think you'd be kidding yourselves if they weren't. Uh, but they gotta get through this one first. It's uh, definitely showing that uh, these two teams are clearly well matched. And the kickoff belted by Noah Wiggins. And back up the middle, it's Lynch again. He's moving across the 38 to the 40, 42 yard line. What a return by Lynch again, setting up great field position for the Red Knights as the offensive unit steps back onto the field. Studsrud has plenty of weapons to work with here on this offensive ball club. We've called Watkins, we've called uh, Lynch, we've called Robertson, Hanks, Sims. You've got Lager. He's got some uh, fine athletes that are being looked at by a, a number of Division I schools on the offensive side of the ball. But once again, what, what would we have but another penalty for the Red Knights on the kicking team?
So what would have been a first down at the 42 for the Red Knights was negated with a hold and brought back to their own 21 where it's going to be first and 10. They trail by one at 15-14. Studs Root's going to keep it the whole way to the right side. He's contained, doesn't get much of an edge there, but still angles his way ahead for about what looks like three to four yards on the pickup. Michael Bauer was forcing him out of bounds a junior. Linebacker and running back. We'll call it second and seven from here, from this vantage point, even though they'll go second and six. It ain't gonna matter, because up the middle goes Studsrud, and he's out around first down territory as he slices his way up the middle once again. Keaton Studsrud has been quite impressive here with his footwork and his passing tonight. Looks, looks to his, after that handoff, he hangs onto it. Looks to his right, then goes to his left. Quick out to Lager. He's going to take it to the right. Bangs himself across the 40 to about the 43 yard line. That's the end of the first quarter. And with that pass, that'll end the first quarter. And the Fridley Tigers lead by a score of 15 to 14. We'll take a quick time out. When we come back, we'll have the start of the second quarter coming up. You're watching high school football as it's the Red Knights and the Tigers. We'll be back right after this. Batty, let me be honest with you. Won't filing for Social Security benefits online be confusing? George, it's simple and easy, and you can do it in your pajamas from the comfort of your own home. Oh, my. You've navigated through asteroid belts, right? Oh, sure, plenty of times. Well, compared to that, navigating socialsecurity.gov is a snap. Really? It's so easy. Even Kirk could do it. <laughs> And here we go as we get ready to start the second quarter. Red Knights and Tigers switch sides. The Red Knights now moving from left to right. Fast moving first quarter with a lot of offensive uh, activity. Well, the difference of this ball game was really a muff snap by the Tigers that turned into uh, quarterback Nick, Nick Rathke, who's the holder, rolling to his left and flipping one up into the end zone and finding his man. It was Charlie Paul who made that play. Studsrud will find first down yardage off the left side as they'll move the sticks. Deshaun Green was there for the tackle for the Tigers. First and 10 Red Knights from the 45. Studs root in and out for Watkins, but there's a nice run up the middle and a big gain there. Well, that fooled everybody there. Callahan Commerce gets into the mix. He had himself a terrific game against the Robinsdale Cooper Hawks. Nice fake there. It'll be first and ten. Checking to the near side is Sam Lynch. The Red Knights, Hanks on the inside, rolling to the right at Studs, are looking all the way. Finds Hanks at about the 35 yard line. That's gonna be a pickup of about seven. That'll set up second and three. Nice gain there on first down. Perfectly placed football there. Nice catch. Good awareness by Hanks on the route as he brings down a big pickup for the Red Knights. Now Studs Root and company in Tiger territory again. Studs Root's going to keep off to the left side. Doesn't like what he has. Cuts back and he's dragged down after he picks up about two. It's going to set up about, looks like from here, a third and one. 
in on the tackle there was John L. Jones. You see him right there, finishing the deal. He heads off the field, bring new personnel in on third down. The Red Knights have been rock solid on third down, three of four in their conversion so far here tonight. Lynch hustles over the near side as he'll be joined by Hanks. It's going to be Watkins to the left side. First down yardage as he's stopped. Like a freight train there, but nonetheless, he spins his way down, picks up the first down yardage. And the Red Knights move the sticks once again as their faithful work. The, that's another Bill Vanilla St. Margaret's first down chant. Clock continues to move. 10 minutes and 35 to go here in the second quarter. Studs root. Another tough snap. Last time that happened, he picked up big yardage. Nearly had a touchdown. It looked like a hold there, but they let that one go. Studs root spins away from a tackle and keeps moving. Initially, Sam Musa was there on the uh, first contact, but Studs root kept moving, kept his uh, balance. Looked like uh, Red Knights might have gotten him with a little bit of hold right there. Right there. But it didn't matter, Musa still kept going. Kept that from being a bigger gain. Nice hustle there by number 11 on the Tigers. Here comes a blitz, they show it. Red Knights pick it up. Studs Root rolls to the right. He's gonna loft it up high in the air. He's got Hanks, comes back, and it's, oh. Good defensive play by Hanks there. That was nearly picked off by the Tigers. Defensive back, Michael Bauer, he was there. Nice read, it was Hanks who had to come back to that football. You'll see that right there as the ball is in the air, right in the lower part of your screen. He got his left hand inside there to knock that one away. Third down now for the Red Knights. And they trail right now by one. 15-14. Park TV 16. Along with our Red Knight crew making this happen for you tonight. Muscling his way ahead is Robertson. Lows to first down yardage. Looks like they got it. I don't know, they're gonna say they're just a little bit shy. About an inch. John Lager says that's a first down. Last time he said it, he got it. I think he's right because if the ball's marked on the 20, that's gotta be a first down. It'll be fourth. Studs Root's going to keep and try to bulldoze. Ooh. He needed to get to the 19. It looks like he may have gotten to just about the 20, which would be enough for a first down. And the Red Knights, once again, will move the sticks on a big fourth down conversion. That'll be first down once again. We're under nine minutes at 8.59, showing on the clock here and counting. In this, the second quarter. Homecoming from the Red Knights. Quick pass, strike to the left side, caught and wrapped up. Lynch makes the play. And the tackle there for the Tigers of Fridley was Deshaun Green. He's been very busy. Second and five after that five yard pass to the left side. Studs Root is spreading it out neatly among his targets. Pastor to Studs Root. And containment was there, but shaking off that tackle and looking to fight his way was Watkins to the original line of scrimmage. It looks like they lose one. It'll be third and six. The ball is marked on the 16 yard line for the Red Knights. Studs Root looks to the right as Lager comes up and makes the catch. That'll be close. They're gonna mark that on about the Eight yard line, that'll be a first down. Red Knights once again, be first and goal for them. Lager with a nice catch off the right side there. Well placed pass by Studs Root as they hook up. 
Talk about a size mismatch. Lager's a 6'5 or 6'6 on the outside. He's seeing a lot of 5'7 and 5'8 cornerbacks in these first four football games. And handoff. Nope, it's going to be Studsrud instead. Fooled me again. Loses on this one. There is some laundry on the field. We'll sort things out, find out what we have. Got some rain here to start this uh, football game. There was no flag. That was actually a towel from the Red Knights. I listened to the uh, press box crew. It tells you what I know. Studsrud once again. He has one man to his left. That's Peter Watkins. He's going to look to the corner. Logger comes inside and makes the catch. Touchdown for the Red Knights as they reclaim the lead. Watch this pass and look at Lager just muscle his way inside to make this catch. Studs through two step drop, kind of shuffles it. Well placed pass there. Lager protects it neatly and comes up with a great play. Not a lot you can do on the defensive side of the football there as the Red Knights now reclaim the lead by a score of 20 to 6. Arneson now for the extra point. Studs rude to hold. High snap. Kick Arneson's up. kick is up as it rattles through the uprights. And it's 21-15. Red Knights lead by six. We have a good one brewing here from Fidel St. Margaret's High School on homecoming night. If you've just joined us, the Tigers enter this game at two and one. They're one and one in the conference. Coming off a 21-7 loss to Spring Lake Park. They opened the season with 19-7 win over Zimmerman. And then uh, a big one over St. Louis Park, 42-7. The Red Knights side of things, they opened their season with that impressive win in Albany. And then they went on and really dispatched the Robinsdale Cooper Hawks in impressive fashion. And then last week had their way with the St. Louis Park Orioles as uh, they are uh, in a game here on homecoming night, tackle cancer night. Randy Shaver Foundation, a part of that, of course. And uh, everybody be a part of that if you can. It's a 56 year for St. Margaret's as a high school and members of their first team ever, 1958, were here on the field as they introduced them on the anniversary of that first season. Quite impressive stuff. Arneson angles one, that one to the corner and out of play. So that'll be first and 10 from the 35 for the Tigers as they'll take over with seven minutes remaining here in the first half. They'll fish the laundry off the uh, carpet there and bring it back out. Fifty seven degrees right now here in the Twin Cities. There's light showers falling throughout the metro area. However, not here right now. There were toward the uh, start of warm ups. And Wolba patiently gains himself about five yards as he will be tackled around the 40 yard line. Tackle made by the Red Knights Jack Johnston. Sets up second and five for the Fridley Tigers as they work their way back up to the football. Rathke, an impressive looking left handed quarterback here for the Tigers. Wilbaugh, pursuit coming his way. He was tackled on the play by the Red Knights' Nate Berry as he may have picked up a couple. Maybe two yards, so that'll set up third down and three. From the Red Knight, 42. Third down and three from the 42 yards. This game's got a little bit of everything in it right now. Fifty-one points the Tigers put on the board against the Red Knights last year in that 51-21 victory. 
And here's a roll to the right. Rathke's going to give off. That's caught neatly there across the 40 down to the 49 in Red Knight territory. On that pass was Tyler Fred. That's his sixth catch of the season. Now they move the chains. As the Tigers once again will take to the huddle, slowing things down a little bit. There's the lefty again slinging to Fred. Runs into the tackle there from the Red Knights, Sam Lynch. And it'll be Rathke alone in the backfield. They have duels on each side. Now they're going to work motion. Here's Mulba. They give it to him as he looks like he had stripped out of his hands. Do the Red Knights have it? They look like they do. They just grabbed it right from his hands. And they're going to take over first and 10 from the 48-yard line. So they brought Mulba in motion. Take a look at this. You'll see it right in the middle of your screen here. And a great defensive play as he tries to cut this one up. As that was just raked right out of his hands there by the Red Knights, number 50, Carter Byrne. Huge play there as the Tigers were on the move. And the Red Knights now with an opportunity to open up a little bit of breathing room with five minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Inside hand off across the 50 to the 49 of the Tigers. It's Peter Watkins. Tackle made by Emmanuel Corma. It's like a three yard pickup. We'll call it third, second and seven. Back to pass. It's a little pump fake brought down. Sets you better hurry. He's opened up too. Played it over the right side. Is that picked off? And it looks like the ball rolled out of bounds. Incomplete pass. Studsrud was on the move. Watch this one. We'll keep our eyes on Studsrud. He brought it down and is going to roll off to his left. He has big time pursuit. Opens up and he got smoked on that play as he had to open up to throw that football. Takes a lot of guts and courage to play this game in that position, especially when you have the big men bearing down on you like that. Studsrud from the shotgun once again. As always, here comes the heat. And they contain that one beautifully. Watkins is stopped on the play for a loss by Pat Whalen. Terrific play as he steps up and gets the job done. And here's the Arneson kick nearly blocked. That's going to be a developing story. Oh, that one's off the knee. And it's going to be Murray to pick it up. He's dangerous to the outside of the 30, down about the 34 yard line where he's forced out of bounds. And it'll be the Tigers to take over first and 10. With three minutes and 30 seconds remaining here in the first half, it's going to be the Tigers to take over. We're going to do football in play here. First and 10 from the 40. Rathke at quarterback for the Tigers. Swings it to the near side to Murray. And they're going to have a penalty. We're bringing this one back as Murray is pushed out of bounds as he picked up first down yardage. We'll see first what the call is, and we'll take a look at the infraction for you. Of course, they're going to call a hold on that one. Here we go, Here we go. 
So a big gain as he raced. It's going to be first and 10 now. All right, make that, I'm sorry, first and 20. First and 18. Officially first and 18, they're calling it. Murray motions to the near side. Rathke looks over the middle, flushed out, rolls to his left. Oh, sliding catch and help of Neely there and showing the officials, Matt Dean. Boy, he's had himself a nice football game here. Nice start to this one. There you get a good look at him, number 24. Cool character here is Rathke in the pocket. Looks very, very solid. As the oncoming pursuit just shuffles away and picks up a nice chunky yard. Just gets really that penalty and more back with 3.05 to go. At least second and eight from the Red Knight, 37. 21-15 Red Knight lead here late in the first half. Rathke is gonna hand off up the middle. Moolbaugh runs into a freight train. And a nice tackle there, but the strength of Moolbaugh creates a little bit of uh, extra yardage. Tate was in on the tackle for the Red Knights. That sets up third and four from the 41 yard line. Watch this strength of Moolbaugh. Just two extra yards, he just bulldozes down, burrows his way through. Big strong runner here. For the Tigers, they call a timeout. They talk things over here as it's under three minutes now at 2.28 to go here in the first half as they're looking to put points on the board. These two teams have really been able to uh, execute on the offensive side at least early and as of late. The, the defensive units have stepped up a big turnover by the Red Knights, turned into a three and out. The Tigers were able to take over and get things done here on this series. And then it looked like a nice pickup. They had a, a holding penalty that was a holding penalty, I guess, and then uh, here we sit now as uh, they talk things over. Another big third down conversion for them. Big crowd assembled here at Benilde St. Margaret's High School. Great campus, phenomenal athletic facilities. Park TV, 16, and of course our Red Knight coverage teaming together to get this done. Third down and four for Sydney. We got people in the uh, on the mics and the production staff from both organizations making it happen for you here tonight. On the 41 yard line, here comes the big third down conversion. A little misdirection. Mulebaugh, he's free across the 45, the 40, to the 30. He is rolling 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Mulebaugh, as he went showtime off the left side to give his club the lead at, or tied at 21. And here comes the extra point for the possible lead late here in the half. Mulebaugh once again, nice hole there off the left side and the acceleration, zero chance he was gonna get caught there. Solid effort by the Red Knights in pursuit there. That was number 25, Sam Merriman, but it was Mulebaugh just way too much to make that one happen. Place and kick is good as that one's punched through by Noah Wiggins. What a ball game we have here. 22-21 in favor of the Fridley Tigers as they and the Red Knights are duking it out here at Benilde St. Margaret's High School. The go-ahead touchdown by Mulba right there. As he dangles his way into the end zone. Very impressive run there by him. So Wiggins, Wiggins and Arneson, who've been busy here in this first half of football, will kick off again. Well, the Red Knights received to open the football game, so they will be kicking off to the Fridley Tigers. It is getting chilly out here, folks. I know I said it was 57 degrees not too long ago. But I'm beginning to wonder now. I guess that just goes to tell you, 
You never know if you can believe uh, the iPhone temperature. <laughs> Wiggins, high kick. In stride, that's handled by Lynch. And up the middle, Red Knights have had penalties on each of their kick returns, and they've had great field position on all of them, only to have them erased. This time, this one was error-free. There's the wedge up the middle. Here comes Lynch. And the only white jersey in the area steps up and makes the tackle with Luke Prosser. 197 pound six foot senior gets the job done as he trips up Lynch where they Red Knights take over at first and 10 on the 39 in their own territory. Moving on the right side. We'll see if there was a little bit of help. Looking for the salesmanship there is Wilbert Miway. And his uh, efforts worked. You'll we'll see on the top of your screen there. Ooh, can you show me that again? Can we go back. Hearing the coaching staff here from the Fridley Tigers saying they may get the football back. We got a timeout. Let's use it. Two twelve to go. Red Knights first and long. They're bringing some serious gas, but now to the backfield. Robertson shakes off a tackle, protects the football, bulldozes his way over the 45, down to about the 42 yard line. Big first down carry by Austin Robertson, as they'll have to hustle the sticks down. Clock stops at 2.05 till they get placed. Gives the Red Knights plenty of time to get things squared away. Sims, Lager, and Hanks up off the near side. Robertson again in the backfield. Hanks up top. That was Lynch, rather. Now here's a ball on the inside. Hold in neatly there by Lynch. Wow. Boy, he had to put this one right through a thimble, I'll tell you. Watch his throw here as he goes to his right, flips it up there. Receivers do a great job of coming back to the footballs here for the Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights. They now have a first and 10 on the Tigers' 20. Two-step drop, a quick fire over the middle. Oh, he is looking for Lynch again. Howard was there defensively for the Tigers. Clock reads 136. There's the quick one over the middle. Double coverage there for Studs Roots. He's going to throw it in. He's comfortable with what he's got. Studs Roots going to keep. Looks to angle his way up the middle to the 15-yard line, a minute 29 and ticking. Red Knights will exercise their timeout. Get a good look at the offensive unit as they work their way over, talk things over. Co-head coach John Hanks and Pat Krieger. <laughs> Great coaching staff here for the Red Knights, Adam Fisher. For the Fridley Tigers. Red Knights are set to go, set the stage here for you. 127 to go here in the first half. It's a one point ball game in favor of the Fridley Tigers. It's been a back and forth affair. The Red Knights scored on their open possession. Take a seven and up and lead, then the Tigers score. There's a muff snap, turns into a two point conversion. They have the eight seven lead, then the 
Red Knights take the 14-8 lead, then it's 15-8, and they take the 21-15 lead. It's been back and forth up in the air. Looking for Lynch, no go. Howard was there on the coverage. We'll set up now fourth down. We're gonna go with Arneson and try to put some points on the board with a field goal. Red Knights wanna get the points and take the lead. Fridley now takes time off. Gonna ice the kicker. So fourth and five, it is officially at the 16 yard line, or 15 they're gonna call it. I don't know why they're calling it the 15, it looks like it's more like about the 14. And let's we'll see what we go with Arneson and Studsrud, they're gonna Mark it on about the 21 yard line. So this would be a 31 yard field goal for Arneson. Snap is on the way down and it's blocked. That's a live ball. And they block that and the Fridley Tigers maintain the lead. Huge play there. 22 21 with 116 to go and they have time to go to work here. They're explosive. We've seen the big play from this ball club and there's one right there. Studs had to go from his right to left, but look at that unimpeded in and up. Let's see if he gets the left mitt. Actually, the right one. And that field goal attempt was blocked. So it'll be first and 10 for the Fridley Tigers on homecoming night, looking to spoil it here against the Red Knights. Rathke, inside handoff, Mulbaugh, he's dangerous. Jukes his way to the near side across the 35 to about the 37 yard line. Lynch was there for the Red Knights. A little bit of help as well from number 62, Blaze Fitzgerald. They'll move the sticks. It's a first down, 107 to go. Here in the first half. once again from the shotgun. Takes it at the knees, Mulba is there as he's stopped after about a gain of one. Tate was there for the Red Knights to make the tackle. It'll be second and eight from the 41. Three down linemen for the Red Knights right now. So we're gonna Look to prevent the big play. 14 seconds, 13 clock is still moving. Time for one more at least as Rathke's gonna give it to Mulva as he's tripped up at the 40. Little or no gain there and that's gonna do it here for the first half. Red Knights and Tigers in a battle. It's 22-21 and the Tigers will receive the ball to open up the second half. We'll be back with more homecoming from Manila St. Margaret's High School right after this. I'm Betty White, and I'd like you to meet my friend here. This is Rip. He's a puppy with a very special job to do, to be a guide dog for someone who is blind. Together, they'll travel the world in safety and with confidence. 
Guide Dogs for the Blind provide their services free of charge, thanks to the generosity of people like you. Please visit guidedogs.com to learn how to help today. Welcome back to Benel St. Margaret's High School. You're looking at one of the great football games we've had so far this year. The Red Knights and the Fridley Tigers locked in a battle. 22-21 your score. The difference in this football game right now has been a tough snap that was handled on an extra point conversion for the Tigers, which turned into quarterback Nick Rathke's little scramble to the left as he flipped one up into the end zone. And uh, he found uh, Channy Pal in the back of the end zone. Just sort of uh, freelanced their way to a two-point conversion there, which right now has been the story of this football game. As it's been a back-and-forth affair between these two teams. The Red Knights had the early 7 to nothing lead. That on a Keaton Studs rude keep. And then it was uh, that 7-7 seven to seven tie, then the extra point conversion on the two-point side for the Tigers makes it 8-7. The Red Knights recaptured the league at 14 to eight. Studs root again. Uh, check that on the second uh, uh, second touchdown was Studs root again, and then it was the Fridley Tigers to e even the score, and then go ahead again on the extra point at 15-14. The Red Knights go ahead on a John Lager touchdown pass from Studs root, and then back come the Tigers again. The defense on each side of these teams have really done a nice job of uh, settling in here, even though the offensive. Uh, thrust for these teams. Uh, the running of uh, Mulebaugh has been absolutely terrific as uh, he has been rock solid. Darius Mulebaugh uh, getting the job done with a lot of great inside pounding. And then he had the big breakaway run there at the end of the uh, first half to give his club the lead where he took off and was off to the races. So John Hanks and Patrick Krieger are locked into a battle with head coach Adam Fisher. And as Fridley Tigers, we get ready now to start the second half. It's going to be Arneson as he prepares to kick off for the Red Knights. He'll chip that one instead of the squib. They took it by surprise, mishandled in the end zone. And that's a touchback. Howard on that one. That took the Tigers by surprise a little bit. First and 10 from the 20. Red Knights defense will step back out on the field and you know the latter stages of that first half they're keying on Mulebaugh as he was a definite force to be reckoned with in this football game. Rathke once again will work from the shotgun. Darius Mulebaugh in the backfield, the lefty. Throws off to the right side. Big gain on first down spinning is Murray. As he's tackled at about the 27-yard line, sec uh, sets up second and three for the Tigers of Fridley. Two and one on the season. One and one in the conference so far. Coming off that 21-7 loss to Spring Lake Park. The Red Knights 3-0 and and 2-0 and in the conference. At the midway point of the regular season already. Here as we open the 2000. 13-14 uh, season. Second and three. Early stages here, quarter number three. Rathke is going to look to his left. Finds Murray at the 29. He stopped short of the first down. And a nice tackle there by Jack Johnston of the Red Knights as they'll set up what looks like will be about a third and one from the 29. Very, very close to first down yardage there. About a half a yard. Tigers Rathke has been a rock solid here tonight. Wilba is going to gain first down yardage. Ooh, he barely got there, but they'll move the sticks. Right at the 30 yard line, he was tripped up on the play. In on that play for the Red Knights was a host of players off the linebacking side. It was led by Carter Brunn. Jay Weber was there as well. And here comes the new set of downs now for the Tigers, first and 10 from the 30. 
Blitz on the way, Mulba runs right into a wall. That wall would be number 66. Tony Zakowski as he makes the big tackle. No gain on the play. That sets up second and 10. Big crown here tonight for the Red Knights on homecoming. This their 56th year as a football program and a school. Their first ever team from 1958 in the house. Quite a few members of that squad were here. Also, don't forget, this is tackle cancer night. Motion to the near side. Hand off to Mulba. As he's tripped up for a gain of about two. You know, see some of these plays where Red Knights contain Mulba's run, and he looks like he's shaken up on the play. Now he's not Mulba, rather, it looks like one of the offensive linemen that's down. John L. Jones, a 6'1 junior, 290 pounder, clutching his left knee right now. So we get a look at that one on replay one more time, see what happened. There's motion to the near side. Mulba will take it off right tackle. It was toward the top of your screen, couldn't quite see what we had. It looked like the knee did get rolled a little bit there. They now have him on his back. 9.25 to go. Third and nine. It's the first third and long the Tigers have had in some time. What a moon we have. It's, it's uh, unbelievable. It's, uh, let's just uh, take a picture of that. I can't believe you guys got that because I just happened to look up. I wasn't looking at the monitor. And our crack crew here at Park TV and the Overtime Sports Network were able to get that one done. <laughs> you know, um, you, you can't, you couldn't even paint that any better. Let's let the picture tell the story there. That's the type of night we have here in the Twin Cities. And up on his feet is John L. Jones. Good news for him as he's able to use both legs as he gingerly walks off the field. So that's a, a good sign for him and for the Fridley Tigers. By the way, uh, got a really solid uh, piece of information here. Handed to me, the Vanilla St. Margaret's uh, Red Knights had their first athletic Hall of Fame class inducted today. That at Minnecotta Country Club. Uh, ten people were inducted, uh, including Joe Maturi, who was the keynote speaker. They had ten people that were inducted. I believe I heard a Mike in name that was tossed out there as one of the first inductees. So good stuff here on homecoming weekend for the Red Knights. Third and nine, Rathke steps back and steps up. Murray in stride across the 40, the 30, 20, 10, five, touchdown to the house he goes. And they open up the lead now, even bigger at 28-21. What a strike there from Rathke and Murray on third and nine, picks up huge yardage and runs away from the defensive backs into the end zone as that was an impressive pitch and catch by the Tigers. Again, Rathke just reads it all the way, steps up nicely, and there you see Murray just flies into the end zone. Jack Johnston in pursuit. How about Sean Lumpkin, former uh, gopher and seven year uh, NFL veteran inducted into that Hall of Fame as that extra points through. Now 29-21 as the back and forth affair. This is the largest lead that the Fridley Tigers have had here tonight. <laughs> 
So defensively, stops have been at a, a premium here today for both of these units. And, and one here by the Tigers would make one feel as though, you don't want to say they have the upper hand, but they, they, they would, you know, in, in, in the arms race, as far as the scoring is concerned in this football game, would be in decent shape. The Red Knights, though, have been very, very explosive offensively. It's really getting cold, a little chilly out here in the Twin Cities tonight as the evening's worn on. Perfect fall evening. There's the kick. And Lynch again on the return. He's going to carry it off to the left side. Cuts back up across the middle of the 30 to the 35, down to the 37 yard line, where he was tackled on the play by special teams maven Luke Prosser. He's made a couple of big tackles on the return unit. Return unit. Here you see Lynch burrowing his way through the return there to get himself up near the 40 yard line. Another solid field position here for the Red Knights. It'll be Studsry. He's going to keep off to the right side, pushing the offensive line back in a great defensive play there. Oh my word, you've got to give all the credit in the world there to. Uh, Number 11, Sam Muses. He just stretched that thing out and gave Studsford nowhere to go but east west. And then he was tackled for a loss, a big one indeed. Four on the play, uh, four yards lost. Second and 14 for the Red Knights. Studsford's going to keep and roll to his left. Continues to roll, opens and looks, flips it up in the air. Oh! Ooh, he had his man Hanks on the left sideline, far side. That one fails to click. And that'll bring up third and long, third and 14. Here's that stop I was talking about moments ago, if it's possible for the Tigers, the way their offense has been going here. It's a big deal for this, the, the tone of this football game. So it'll be third and 14. Studs root from the shotgun. He has Robertson who's picked up some big yardage on the ground to his right. Back to pass, straight drop, and pressure, and the sack. First one of the ball game for either side, and in the backfield first was Pat Whale, and he's had a couple of big plays defensively for the Tigers as they push the Red Knights back of their opening set of downs here for the second half. That'll be set up fourth and 25. On comes Arneson as he's gonna kick to Murray, who is at his own 35 yard line. Great field position looming here for the Tigers. And you, with the way they've been going, you never know with a big return. We'll see what we get. Arneson with a good leg though from the kicking game. He's going to try and kick it away from Murray as it drops up around the 49. Make that the 46 yard line. Golden opportunity here for the Fridley Tigers. Nick Rathke has been solid in this football game. The names keep coming here for the inductees. Devin George was inducted, the three-time NBA champion and LA Laker. He was with the Wolves for a brief period of time. Mike Mason, pitching coach in the Cubs organization, played a little hockey. Sean Lumpkin played some puck too, I've been told, and still attends the alumni games. Here's the snap to Rathke, looks to his right. He's gonna scramble, gets away from, oh, oh, it's complete! You've gotta be kidding me to the 20-10-5 and touchdown! Another broken play that results in points for the Fridley Tigers, Mulba. How about the headiness of Rathke at the quarterback position? This guy is just thoroughly impressive. You watch this on the replay, he's just completely surrounded. Three guys get hands on him. He's got it tucked away like he's going to carry it. I thought he was just throwing it away. But no, he saw a 2-3 right there, and that guy can wheel to the 
end zone he goes, and it's 35-21. Make it 36-21. 7.15 to go. And the Red Knights to the sidelines with their heads down right now. Two possessions and 14 points for the Tigers here in the third quarter. 7.15 remain in it. And the Red Knights will get the football back. Keep in mind, this Tigers team put up 51 points last year in their 51-21 win over the Red Knights. After that game, though, they lost four straight. It was, I just wonder what happened there, but let's face the facts. The Red Knights are gonna need to make something positive happen here. As defensively, it's been a tough chore stopping this Tiger team. Noah Wiggins will kick off. He's got the orange shoes. Rocking them. Gets underneath this one, lofts it in the air. That'll be taken by Hanks across the 20. He's going to bounce it outside, gets to about the 24. Great, great containment there over on the far side. That tackle was made by Chatram Hector, the senior D back and wide receiver. 7-10 to go here in the third quarter. Red Knights on homecoming. Everybody likes to spoil the homecoming, no question about that. The Tigers doing everything they can in their power to make sure that happens. Studsruth, one step, and he's going to tuck it down and slice up the middle for five yards. That'll set up a second and five for the Red Knights as they hurry up. As is the case, they work out of the no huddle. Very... Uh, very trendy in the NFL, very Chip Kelly-like. There's a handoff on the draw, spinning and slicing his way near first down yardage as Watkins. He was tackled on the play by Prosser. Let's see where they place that. That's enough for a first down. They move the sticks. The Red Knights offense has been stopped, but just a couple of times here tonight. It's It's been tough on the Tigers to stop the Red Knights, too. That, that big hold there in the early going here of this third quarter was helpful for the uh, Tigers to be able to pull away. Crosser is there as Studs the ball carrier, down to the turf. In a heap goes the Red Knights, number 67, Thomas Stone. 6-10 and counting on the clock. Red Knights now second and nine off the, here make it second and eight off the two yard gain. Ball on the 37. Studsert steps back and throws off left side. Lager there, gonna try and push his way to first down yard. It looks like he got it as the big frame battled his way across the First down marker. They'll say no, he stepped out before he did. So they'll set up third and about two, third and one. And there goes Studsroot. He's going to keep it to the 30, 20. Cuts back at the 10. Touchdown, Keaton Studsroot. His third of the football game as a much needed six points put on the board by the Red Knights as they now trail 36 27. 56 yard pickup there for Studsroot. There is some containment here. It looked like he was in trouble at the 10, and he just forced Howard to over pursue and just cut back against him and into the end zone he goes and it will be extra point time for Matt Arneson. 36-27. I can make that 
Oh, make that no good. Looked like it was going through from here. Ooh, that's a two-point swing there now. It's a two-possession ball game. Red Knights already had to, that one point kind of hanging over their heads. They had a field goal attempt at the end of the, or near the end of the first half that was blocked. So it's four points hung on the board right now. Nick Rathke, your quarterback for the Fridley Tigers, entered this game 28 of 46 for the touchdown and 281 yards passing. At least that was what was updated on the MN Football Hub. It'll be Arneson to kick off for the Red Knights. 5.33 showing on the clock here in the third quarter. Arneson punches this one. That'll be handled off the equipment and bobbled there by Mulba as he bounces ahead to the 20-yard line. And the Red Knights defense will take to the field looking to stop this offensive big play attack of the Fridley Tigers. Officially marked at the 22. Fred and Murray to the near side for the Tigers. Rolling again, they're gonna put it in the air and that's caught. Murray sidesteps, one would be tackler. And he's pushed down on the play, that was Lynch. And Miriam, Miriam, uh, Miriam on the coverage, first down yardage. It's a great mix here offensively by the Tigers as they're keeping the Red Knights defense off balance. Krathke. That one looked like they misfired. He's gonna keep this one and try to get as much as he can. May have picked up four on the play. He looked one way and the back was the other. He's running to the huddle saying, what happened? He still picked up a couple of them and will make a pickup of three. So it'll be second and seven. Rathke motions his man, that's Murray. Fakes to him, inside to Mulba as he's spun and tackled on a nice play there by the Red Knights. Jay Weber, the 6'2", 200 pound junior, steps up and makes a nice play. Third and seven. It was third and nine on what looked like was a broken play, turned into a long touchdown pass for Mulba. Third down has not been very friendly here to the uh, Red Knight defense. Play action, lofted up, they want Murray into a number of receivers. He caught the football. Unbelievable. Murray somehow with four, four D-backs around him pulls it down. This thing looked like it was about to be intercepted. How do you do that? That's incredible. Again, said that third down hasn't been very friendly to the Red Knights, and it's been incredibly friendly to the Fridley Tigers. That was an impressive play. Wilbaugh bounces to the outside. Works his way ahead for three yards. There's a good look at Wilbaugh. He's been vital here to this ball game for Fridley so far. They have an 11 point lead at 
They'll call it an official gain of four, so it's second and six. Back to pass is Rathke. He's going to put this one up in the corner. Murray tried to spin away from the coverage. It was tight by Chris Landis. And that sends up, th sets up third down. Third and about five and a half, six. Rathke back to pass, pumps. Now he throws to the end zone. And here comes the flags for interference. Intended receiver on the play is Matt Dean. And the Red Knights are going to be called for pass interference. That's going to be a first down for the Fridley Tigers. So Fridley will get now a first and 10 from the 14 in Red Knights territory. Little red zone action. Bulba is going to cut back through everybody and bulldoze in for a touchdown. It's 42-27, and a couple of big third down plays. One is an interference penalty that yields a uh, first and 10, and that run by Mulva. Another one was a, a big completion. It was Murray that went up against four D-backs and somehow pulled it down, as the Tigers have been impressive, to say the least, here in the second half. They've been unstoppable offensively, and that one looks like it Works its way through again as the kicking of Noah Wiggins continues to be sharp. 43-27. So after being just held to seven points last week, the Tigers have found their offensive flair here tonight against the Red Knights of Benilde St. Margaret's. And Benilde was having their way offensively against their opening three opponents. Have been pretty solid offensively here tonight. However, the second half has been a tough one for their defense to shut down for the Fridley Tigers. Wiggins again to kick. Wobbling liner, tough one to handle. Lynch is going to scoop it off the turf as he hustles ahead to about the 32, 33 yard line. And the Red, uh, Red Knights will take over first and 10. High school football presented by Park Cable 16 and Park TV 16 and also the Overtime Sports Network. Thanks a lot for joining us here. On homecoming night. As Studsroot 
Inside handoff, up the middle. Oh, big gain and more across the 50 down to the 45 yard line. Watkins for the Red Knights as he cruises through the interior line there and works his way into the secondary and picks up big yardage for the Red Knights. Great downfield blocking. Receivers on the Red Knights, very athletic, do a great job catching the football, but I think uh, what's missed too is their, their blocking as well in the, uh, the run game. Studsford's gonna delay that one up the middle. Looked like a little bit of a miscommunication, yet he still picks up about four yards. That'll set up second and six with 2.37 to go here in the third quarter. Studs Root awaits, and he's gonna keep it himself as he follows a block across the 40 down to the 35, darts his way across the 30 down to about the 27 yard line where he's tripped up after the Red Knights pick up a first down and players shaken up for the Fridley Tigers. Manuel Corma started to get up. I'll check that, that's number 26. Was looking at number 24 there. That is 26, Emmanuel Corma. You see, and he's on all fours right now. On, he's gonna get himself up. Looks like the right leg is a little bit gimpy there, but he'll be okay as he walks off under his own power. He's gonna jog off, he'll probably be back in the football game after another play. <laughs> Studs root again. Gives off to the right side and up the middle. That same play, huge game. Robertson. Oh, dives down around about the two yard line. That's the second time they've run that play, that little misdirection with Robertson and the entire uh, football stadium here has been on that one, including the defense. And once again, let's take a look at this one on replay. As you'll see right there, they're gonna hold, bring everybody off to the right side and somehow Robertson, well, that's the uh, last play with Studsrud that set up this one. It's, Going to be first and goal from the two for the Red Knights as they're going to look to punch this one in. Studs root under center. He's going to give off to the right side and that was a touchdown there for Robertson to cap that series of runs and first downs. They're going to go for two here. Studs root under center. That almost felt uncomfortable. Robertson just bulldozes his way into the end zone, 43-33. Studs read again, he's gonna drop back to pass, flips it into the end zone, that's behind Sims. That one fails to click and Studsrud brought down on the play. So it's a 10.2 possession game. So Red Knights looking to make it a one possession game. Couldn't do it there. Uh, yet hit the end zone and were impressive offensively. This thing has been an absolute lights out offensive affair here at Benilde St. Margaret's High School. 10 point lead at 43-33 for Fridley. a good look at the faithful here. Kelly Panic and Jack Jablonski are your homecoming king and queen for this year. And there's many of the student body here from Benilde St. Margaret's. Festive atmosphere as always in the parking lot, lots of footballs. I know our cameraman Todd Grover tried to go up for an interception. They all said what's with the goofy old man trying to pick off the football. going to kick this one deep again. And that one's going to be handled by 
Howard as he cuts it out to the right side. Red Knights will trip him up at about the 22 yard line. Minute 31 to go here in the third quarter. It'll be the Tigers looking to continue their surge offensively here in the third quarter as they have scored each time they've had the football, all three times. This will be their fourth possession of the quarter. Back to pass, quick step. Oh, that's off the hands of Murray and already on the ground in the defensive backfield for the Red Knights looking to make the the play from his backside there was Chris Landis. Couldn't quite make the adjustment. That'll fall harmlessly incomplete where it'll be the Tigers taking over now. Again, second and 10 from the 22. Alone in the backfield is going to be Rathke. Now they're gonna work motion again. Little on the fake, here's a long ball that fails to click, looking for Murray. And now it'll be second and 10, third and 10. Do I dare say it? The last three or four third down conversions and long have resulted in big plays or penalties for the Fridley Tigers. A trend right now, the Red Knights are gonna look to try to stop. Rathke has Mulba on the backfield. He's gonna drop back, looks to his left, looks to his right, looks up the middle. As he's throwing, he's tackled, and that one's incomplete. The Red Knights brought some pressure on that play. I that was Tate in on the pressure. And that forces the punting situation. Dean will be back to kick. And the punt will drop at about the 48 yard line. Hanks thought about it for a minute. Takes a great roll for the Fridley Tigers as it's gonna settle down at the 34 yard line. And the Red Knights will take over. From the McQuinn Athletic Conference at Benel St. Margaret's uh, Complex, rather, at Benel St. Margaret's High School, great to have you on board. Park TV 16 and Overtime Sports Network. And also, of course, don't forget this streaming live on the Benel St. Margaret's website. Studsrud rolls to the right side, finds Sims that's behind him. And falls incomplete, second and 10. Take a look at this play. Studsrud with a nice fake there, buys some time on the run. That was in and out of the hands there. 57 to go here in the third quarter. Nothing but time left in this football game. And with a 10 point margin, something says that this, there's a lot that can happen here in this one. Up the middle, but not much. That was Watkins number they called. Lynch and Hank steps back into the football game. Third and nine. Big third down conversion for the Red Knights. A pretty important time of the football game. 25 to go on the quarter. Clock still moves. Studsrud's gonna roll to the right. Here comes the pressure. Studsrud looks, he doesn't have much. On the run's gonna flip it up for Lager. He has to come back. Lager broke that play up. Got his hand on the arm of the Tigers number 15. Kudan Khan. And that brings up fourth and nine, a big hold by the Tigers. 
Watch this play by Lager. You, probably, you couldn't quite see that on your screen there, but he came back and reached out with his left hand and slapped at it there to uh, keep that from being picked off. Arneson, the snap and the kick. Let that one roll. Murray decides to let it go, and now that one takes a red night roll. If that's going to settle in at the 15-yard line, where it'll be the Tigers taking over first and 10 with six ticks left on the clock here in the third quarter. in the backfield. It's going to be Rathke once again. He's going to give off to Mulba up the middle. He's tackled for no gain on the play. And that's the end of the third that ends the third quarter. The Red Knights again come up big defensively there. Let's get to the Crunch time critical stage is 43-33 Fridley over the Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights. You're watching high school football on Park TV 16. We'll be back right after this. Everyone needs a good night's sleep, but it's hard to sleep tight if you're worried about bed bugs. That's right, bed bugs are real. As real as the threats posed by other household pests like roaches, rodents, and termites. Together, they contribute to illnesses like asthma and Lyme disease, major property damage, and contaminated food. To learn how to protect your home and family, visit pestworld.org. Because household pests shouldn't keep anyone up at night. And welcome back to Benilde St. Margaret's as once again, we have the start of the fourth quarter coming for the Tigers. It's going to be second and nine from their own 16-yard line. Great crowd assembled here. Rathke's going to pitch his time to the left side of Stretch out the block. Oh, beautiful run and a first down. Great execution there by the Tigers. We'll buy again, just too tough to handle there as he's dragged down across the 26 to the, about the 28 yard line where it'll be first and 10. Rathke, another give off left side. Mulba again across the 40 to the 42 yard line. What a night he's having here for Fridley. Keep it on the ground, keep the sticks moving, keep the clock going. Be first and ten for the Tigers at the 41 yard line. Murray and Fred on the near side. Here comes a blitz. Picked up and they try to work their way ahead for positive yardage and do. Call it a gain of two, second and eight. Ball marked on the 43 yard line. Down 
And it's going to be Murray to the near side. Good block downfield across the 50. Murray tackled after a gain of seven. Great execution across the board. And on the tackle for the Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights was Callahan Commerce. Third down and so uh, we'll call it a pickup of eight. Third and two. Clock continues to move, 9.53. Boy, any, any number of points here for Fridley is going to be awfully tough. The Red Knights to keep this thing moving. Stop here is going to be a turnover. Be a big developing situation. Flag on the play. Rathke complete to Frid. He gets down to the 42-yard line as he's brought down after first down yardage. We'll see what the flag was for. And they'll bring it back as an illegal procedure penalty called on the Tigers. 9.32 to go. They'll walk that one off five yards. I'll bring up third and seven. Rathke's going to step off the line and roll to his left now as he's going to be pressured, still pressured, under the run. He's dangerous, protects the ball, goes down, as does a coach, it looks like, on the far sideline. That's going to be short of a first down. Subtle so setup fourth and five as Hanks and Lynch work their way for the return team for the Red Knights. A huge stop there for them. Snap, gobbled up, gets it away. Hanks off his hands, a loose ball, flag in the play. Covered up by a Lynch. It's off the near sideline on the pursuit there. That was off the mitts of Hanks, and then it was Lynch who gobbled it up. Red Knights take over on their own 10 yard line. Up the middle it goes across the 10. Watkins picks up a couple of be second and eight. Studs root. Drops back to pass, quick two-stepper. Finds Lagro off the far side. He's about a yard shy, I think. Oh, they're gonna give him the first down. That's his knee came down on the other side of the sticks as he rolled back in. First down for the Red Knights. 8.03 to go here in the fourth quarter. Dudzrud will keep himself as he spins ahead for two yards. As the Red Knights will hustle back up on the line.
Gain of one official on the play. Second and nine, Studsrud. He's going to drop back, couple steps, looks to his left. Oh, he spins away from one would-be tackler on the run, looks ahead, and that was partially blocked, and they're deflected away, and that one falls incomplete, setting up third down. Rolling again is Studs for a big third down play. Lager pulls it down. Goes athletic. Boy, a former hockey player looking like a hoopster on that grab. Nice set of mitts by that big man. Another first down catch for the big receiver. Spinning ahead for a couple of yards. Second and seven. Ooh. Movement on the defensive line, then movement on the offensive line. Of course, both lines pointing at each other. 6.38 to go here in the fourth quarter. Big play up the middle. And that'll be another first down for the Red Knights as they move the sticks again. Good mix of pass and run here for Vanilla St. Margaret's here on this drive. Back on the field comes Watkins. Oh, low snap, and Studsrud pounces ahead and covers that football up. Studsrud again from the shotgun. Gonna hand off and roll to his right as he looks to his right as he gonna pull it down and keep it. Cuts against the grain across the 45. He has room. Oh, he avoided a tackle to the 40, 35. Here goes Stutzer to the 25, 20, and he is pushed out of bounds about the 12 yard line. Oh, what a run there. He looked like he was stopped a couple of times here. Kind of a broken play. Wanted to throw the football, has pursuit and pressure, and he cuts back to the near side. Then he Takes a step away from a tackle, and then it's right here where he says, okay, here we go. And there goes Keaton Studsrud as the dual threat quarterback. Puts the legs to work. First and 10, Red Knights ball on the 13-yard line. Watkins do his right. Studsrud will take the snap, one-hander, who nicely guides it into Watkins as he bounces ahead for a couple of yards on what could have been a big-time broken play. Studsrud drops back to pass high in the corner. Back to get at the ball and it rolls loose. Locker tried to make the play, wanted a penalty, isn't gonna get it.
Five minutes showing on the clock. There's a great battle for a football there. That's excellent stuff by both participants on that play. Studsroot's gonna pull it down and the, give it off to inside. And Nate Berry picks up big yardage up the middle as he's tumbled around the two or three yard line. Looks like it's enough for a first down. And they'll lay the down marker, the uh, first down markers down and it's just gonna be first and goal for the two. 452 showing on the clock. It's a 10 point Fridley Mart lead right now. And the Red Knights are knocking on the door. Robertson burrows his way. They're gonna say he's down. Red Knights are saying, you've gotta be kidding me, but he is right there. There's Robertson right there. You're right, he's down. Ooh, that was awfully close. Closer than it looked. Clock continues to move, 4-12. It's definitely an issue here. Third and goal from the one for the Red Knights under center at Studs Root and into the end zone for the touchdown. The Red Knights, Robertson once again. And the Red Knights now trail by four at 43-39. Arneson on. Another one blocked. That's a blocked field goal. That's uh, another blocked extra point. Boy, that that that's a huge block for the Fridley Tigers. So the Red Knights hit the end zone, trail by four at 43-39. Tigers to take over with three minutes and 29 seconds. The ball's gonna be in their offense's hand, and it will be interesting. Fridley will take a timeout here as they're going to talk things over. Faithful on their feet as they look to urge their squad on here on homecoming. A great crowd here up in Old St. Margaret's High School on a gorgeous Friday night with a full moon. Fall football the way it should be here in the lovely state of Minnesota. And 
fair caught wisely. So a 3.29 to go here in the fourth quarter. Ball game is on the line between these two football teams as the Red Knights and the Fridley Tigers have been going back and forth here. Really from this third quarter on though, it's from the Tigers that have opened up a lead. They up the metal, looking to get some noise here. Are the Red Knights D as they're looking for a big stop. Down to three minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Rathke. going to roll to his left. He has pressure, throws, Fritz spins, stopped right about at the line of scrimmage, maybe picked up one. That's going to bring up a third down and long, third and six. Timeout taken on the field. That will be the first for the Red Knights. They've got two left, 2.45 to go. Big, big third down. This game is as good as it gets. The Red Knights and the Tigers here. And here comes Fridley as they're ready to go. Five to go, it's gonna be Rathke under center. He takes the snap, he gives, no, he pulls it out, gives to Murray, they're gonna put it into his feet and he's stopped short of the first down. With 2.33 to go. Red Knights take the timeout. Ball be placed at about the 31 yard line. Fourth down, it is awfully close. Fourth and one. Punting situation is on. The game is on the line. 2.33 to go here. The Red Knight offense looks like it may have an opportunity to have a final say in this game. There's the kick by Dean. It's going to be handled by Lynch. No fair catch, and he's drilled. What a play. Michael Bauer was there, and he's had himself a fantastic football game himself. Watch this one as the ball handled at about the 35 yard line and Lynch goes spalding and gets nothing and likes it as he spun back for a loss. 226 shows on the clock. Studsrud has the football. It's in his hands. With an opportunity, oh and a tough snap as he'll have to sit on that one. The Red Knights give away a down. Now it's going to be third down, or second down rather, and, and 14, we'll call it. Studs Root again. 
clean snap. Stodgery looks, flushed out, sacked in a big play. Oh, huge play by Pat Whalen. Again, another play by big number eight. That brings up third and a mile with 1.49 to go. Boy, if you could stop this Red Knight offense the way they have and be as effective as they have defensively for Fridley, all that uh, absolutely is a well-earned situation there to set up this third and long, especially when the Red Knights have been tough to stop here all night long. Third and 25 for the Red Knights. They've got to get out near midfield. They have to get to the 44, 43 yard line for a first down as the ball is marked on their 25. It's going to be Studsrud. From the shotgun, he's going to sprint to his left on the roll, on the run, through the hands of Lynch. Here it comes all in one set here from a fourth and long with 145 to go here in the fourth quarter. Red Knights don't have any timeouts left. If they can't make the first down here, it would be awfully difficult as the ball game is in the lurch right here on this play. Studs root back to pass. And he's sacked. It's Whalen once again. Oh, he played huge there. Oh, is that a big play? Whalen with a couple of huge plays there. Those are moments he'll never forget. So minute 40 shows on the clock, no timeouts for the Red Knights. It's gonna be the Fridley Tigers scored 51 points against the Red Knights last year, 43 here so far this year. And Rathke will set up from the shotgun. Red Knights are gonna bring the sink as it's Mulvaz, he runs off to the left, sees the cone. He's not gonna make the pylon, he's gonna be short by about a half a yard. So it'll be first and goal from the one officially. As the Red Knight fans are heading toward the exits. Wolva again darts into the end zone for the touchdown as they pick up another 6, 49, 39. Another 10 point margin. As the Tigers leave all doubt on that one as it was Mulva twice and it's gonna be the extra point by Noah Wiggins to be attempted. Extra points good, 50-39. The Tigers take the big lead. One twenty-eight to go here in the fourth quarter. The Red Knights to receive the ball once again, trailing by 11. 
at 50 to 39. You are watching high school football on Park TV 16 and the Middle State Margaret's Red Knights website. Brought to you once again by Seven Medical Systems and of course uh, the Booster Club who have made this all possible for you. Your homecoming night for the Red Knights as it has been an offensive battle so far. 89 points between these two teams. As it's going to be Wiggins to kick off once again. Going to chip this one up and out of bounds. And it'll be first and 10 from the 35. Hello to Ken Pauly. I don't know what exotic land he's checking in on, but I know he's watching the game right now. Actually asked him to uh, join me for the play-by-play, -play, but uh, he said he had other things on his plate. So, obviously, <laughs> uh, there you go. So it'll be first and 10 now from the... 39 for the Red Knights with 128 to go. They do have the ability to strike quickly. Studsrud. Look to his left, now to his right. He's gonna have to hurry. Pass is complete and out of bounds to Hanks. Gain of five yards. That'll be second and five now. And another big tackle for a loss. This time stepping up for the Fridley Tigers was Wilbert Meeway. And down on the play is Studsroot. Shaken up, they get the injury timeout. And in will come Jack Goldstein. So Goldstein will step in at the quarterback position. He's got a very lively arm. He can throw that ball down few, uh, downfield. So it'll be third and 10. Studsrud gingerly walks off the field. Not sure if it's his arm or his leg. And it's Jack Goldstein as he looks to his left. He'll drop back to pass. He lofts that one up in the air. A misfire there. So here comes Goldstein now, first and 10 from the 46 yard line. He'll drop back to pass to the near side to Sims in and out of the hands. As the coverage was turned in there by Michael Bauer with 58 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Red Knights trailing by 11 at 50 to 39. What a ball game we've had here at Benilde St. Margaret's High School. Goldstein back to pass again, looks to his left, 
Lofts this one up in the air. That'll be in and out of the hands and then back into the hands. That's caught and up the near sidelines they go. Nobody's going to touch him to the end zone from the 10 to the 5 and a touchdown. That's Khan who comes up with a big interception and the return 56-39 in favor of the Fridley Tigers. So it'll be Wiggins once again to tack on the extra point, looking for point number 57. Wow. And there's another muff one. This turned into a two-point conversion last time. Rathke fires it into the end zone, and they convert. At this point, it's fair to say everything is working and clicking here for the Fridley Tigers. 41 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. They now lead by 19. Here's another look at that extra point. Rathke again is going to pull it down and roll to his left. And as he cuts up the middle, just throws a bullet right into the end zone for the two-point conversion. So the Fridley Tigers are set to improve their conference record to 2-1. and one. Red Knights will fall to two and one. For the Red Knights, the overall record at three and one. Same as these very friendly Tigers. Next week for the Red Knights, they travel to the island to take on the De La Salle Football Club, which is a very solid team indeed. And for the Fridley Tigers, their next game will play host to the Knights of Irondale. And here comes your kickoff. A line drive this time. Ooh, handled neatly there. That's Robertson as he slices across the 40 to about the 44-yard line with 36 seconds. The Red Knights Goldstein will take over at quarterback once again. So from their own 44-yard line, it'll be the Red Knights that take over. Goldstein, they'll hand off this time and they'll gain the first down as they slice their way through. Nate Berry was the ball carrier there. So first down for the Red Knights. I'm going to say short of it, second and one. Looked like that was enough. <laughs> now they're going to take a look at that, I think. I'm going to say that's a first down, move the sticks. Now they run the clock, down to 28. Goldstein again, gives to Barry. As he picks up yardage up the middle. Red Knights look like they're content to run this one out as it rolls down to 14 seconds. And that looks like that's the last play of the football game. As the Fridley Tigers on homecoming night for the Vidal St. Margaret's Red Knights come in with a well-rounded effort and really a back and forth affair in the first half turned into a Fridley route in the second half as they were impressive 
to finish the deal and pick up the 58 to 39 victory over the Benilde St. Margaret's Red Knights. Uh, that's going to do it here from Benilde St. Margaret's High School for our entire crew at Park TV 16, the Overtime Sports Network. I'm Pete Wagner. So long, everybody.